Wiggins Pass is right there. It's windy today. We got some north wind. Let's do it. We got some north wind today. Water temperature is very cold. Water's dirty. It's been windy the last few days. I'm thinking the fish might be a little bit deeper than usual today. I don't know why, but that's why I think. Let's see what happens. What we're looking for out here is redfish pushing waves. If you're on a kayak or a canoe, you can take that shortcut through the woods right up front, and it'll take you out to uh, uh, to the Coquihatchee River. So that's a little shortcut nobody knows about. You definitely can't do it with a big boat, but you can do it with. Uh... So here we're gonna slow down. I'm just gonna stop right here. There's an oyster bed in front of us. Very good for redfish. Um, just gotta be careful <clears throat> that we don't bottom out and scratch the boat. Hopefully the wind's with us, but right around there, you can almost make out the shadow line. <sighs> There's uh, the oyster bed right there. It's a really good spot for the reds. It's all out here, guys. Lots of reds. On this same exact lure, too, that I'm using now is what I've caught my other red on here. There's an oyster bed hitting right in there. If you're on a big boat, you're gonna miss it and hit it. But the thing we're looking for is fish uh, pushing waves, really, is what we're looking for. Looking for uh, wave pushers. There we go. We got some action back there, right where the oyster bed is. So let's try to. The wind's pushing us. I'm actually going to go around this island. I'm going to go around the island. Oh, this is still loose. Whoa. Whoa, we don't want to get this caught up. I'm going to go around the island. Because I don't. I want to. Come back around the other side of that. Water's cold, but it feels good. I think the mohara, the mullet, everything's gonna be out and about today in these backwaters. So this is the head of the creek right here. Usually you'll find other kayakers coming through here. Um, I will tell you, this is not the type of place you would expect there to be alligators. Because this is, uh, this is salt water, but there are alligators out here and they are big. So, and this is a very straight and narrow little creek. So if you startle them, they will slap your boat. So just keep that in mind. When you come out here that there are alligators. So let's see what we can. There are alligators out here and they are big. So just keep that in mind out here. Don't let the uh, the fact that saltwater fool you. 
there are alligators back here and they are very big and you will startle them with your boat It gets shallow heading this way. It just becomes a little. Uh, here it's a little bit tougher. You could probably walk through this stuff, but I don't know why you'd want to. But we're trying to get to the other side of this canal. I want to show you guys what this is all about here. So I'm actually going to wade through this stuff just for you guys. Yeah. Lift the motor up. You can actually, during high tide, go all the way around you can see the water is really kicking really moving now you can see the water is actually moving pretty quickly now I'm gonna try to see how far I can get I might actually try to go underneath the Vanderbilt bridge and try to come out the other side to the Wiggins canal but I don't know if I'll be able to look how clear this water is and you can see the water is really moving fast now and uh, depending on which way the tides are coming you, you wouldn't know if it's dropping or rising I'm gonna put my shoes on and we're gonna explore this little mangrove normally I wouldn't do this but this is for you guys who watch my channel I want to show you guys this really cool spot so I might actually go underneath it thing is if I go underneath it and I get stuck Ooh, that water's cold. Whew. All right. That water is cold, cold, cold. Oh, that water's freezing. So it's beautiful out here. Look at this. Oyster shells, clear water. Again, the, the oysters contribute to the clearness of the water. They filter a lot of water. And it gets deep again. And it gets steep again. I'm actually going to try to go underneath. It's about... It's too deep here for me to walk through. And then it gets shallow up again ahead. So, again, I'm just doing this for you guys on YouTube. I would rather not do this. I'm not as adventurous as you guys think I am. Get all the little fish. I've always wanted to do it. Let's do it. I mean, let's do it for YouTube go around this thing I've never been actually brave enough to do it but we're doing it <sighs> okay I'm sure there's a lot of like 14 year old girls in kayaks to do it I'm a grown man <laughs> all right guys this is Vanderbilt and no this is not Vanderbilt like Vanderbilt Vanderbilt this is the north to south Vanderbilt not the one that goes all the way out to the estates. I mean, it's the same road, but when the Vanderbilt gets to the beach, it turns northbound. So, this is northbound Vanderbilt. And yes, you can go underneath the bridge. And yes, we are actually going to do this. Wow, this is beautiful out here. This is just nice. We used to come here as a kid. It's been many years, though. Many, many years. We used to come out here when I was a kid and uh, try to catch tadpoles and whatnot. The bridge scares me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, going underneath this bridge terrifies the crap out of me. But we're doing it. Okay, we're doing this. It terrifies the crap out of me, guys. I'm very claustrophobic. I am extraordinarily claustrophobic, so. Look at all these crabs. <laughs> yo. Echo. Yo, yo, yo. Hopefully there's no alligator here. And if there is, hopefully it doesn't come near. 
Well, I'm very claustrophobic. So this is like the scariest experience of my life right here. And this would not scare the average person, but we're not all built the same. This terrifies the crap out of me. Okay. Okay, we're here. On this side. That was scary. For me. Okay, we're all different. We all have different fears. That for me was terrifying. Okay. Like I said, I have seen really big gators out here, so it's it's a well-founded fear. <laughs> uh, uh, I think I can put my boat motor down now. Let's give that a try. Might get us there quicker. I've always wanted to do this, by the way. Just uh, never really had a reason. Now with the YouTube, we kind of do have a whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful with this motor. I don't want to break it. It's supposed to be really flexible according to the box. Oh, look how low the water is here. Oh, dude, this is like a whole back bay already. I hope my boat motor doesn't die. Oh, wow. This is like a whole little back bay here. Check it out. Again, water very clear, it's very shallow too. Wow, this is like six inches of water. Huh. I don't think there's any fish back here though. Even they're in high tide, I don't see why fish would brave coming out here and getting stuck in low tide. La <sighs> cucaracha. La cucaracha ya no quiere caminar Porque le falta Porque le falta Una pata <laughs> That's all I got today uh -huh. <laughs> This is neat This is neat. And this does go out to Wiggins Pass, so I'm gonna try to go around the island. I don't know if my boat motor has enough shards to make it that far. Look at that little thing swimming along. La cucaracha ya no quiere caminar porque le falta, porque le falta. What did I just touch? Neat. Very neat, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's snook back here. I don't think there's fish back here, guys. I mean, there might be, but it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty bad for fishing. <laughs> the water's clear, so if there was fish here, you'd see them. It's just a nice little breeding ground for crabs and little fish. As far as actual snook and big fish i don't know tarpon stuff coming back here i don't think so maybe maybe uh, yeah, 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 yeah. water's very clear yeah, if you're doing kind of like a gator or something out here there's like nowhere for the gator to go it's like it's gonna get angry at you there's a back bay here. Okay, there's actually a lake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a lake right back there. Like an actual lake in the middle of the mangrove. So if you're adventurous enough, right in there, you can find it on Google Maps. There's an actual lake. My brother was cast net fishing. When we get to the other side of this, this will take us out to uh, another place. When we get out, there's a little... What did I just touch? Tree branch. <sighs> There's a little spot not far from here where we're gonna go out to if we can make it out of here. Uh, I think I twisted up my boat motor. That's not good. Now it's all discombobulated. Yep. 
Okay, this is getting ever tighter, ever creepier. I'm gonna turn the motor off. I think I'm gonna have to sail my way through here. And I am touching the ground, I can feel it. Dude, anyways, my brother was uh, out here with his friend cast netting. Not out here where this leads to, which is the canal that's from Williams Pass that goes north to south. All the way to the 111th bridge and uh they were cast net fishing and probably the biggest according to him one of the biggest gators he's ever personally seen was in the salt water it's just showing in the salt water do i realize how far i've traveled and how far more I got to travel to get out of here. <laughs> but yeah, he was just chilling in the back base, you know, cast netting for mullet. And uh, with his friend. And they see the biggest alligator they said they've ever seen. It's just chilling. In the salt water, by the way. And that's not a lie. You can go on the internet. And you can see... Uh, you can see, but they were wading through the water. That's what's, what I find stupid. I wouldn't do that. I don't get these people that go wading in the water. They think they're in Northwest or something. This is Florida. Unless you absolutely have to, don't. There's so much stuff in these waters. Gators. Stingrays. Saltwater crocodiles. They're not common, but they're out here. And those guys are less friendly than alligators, I would I would assume. I think this is the main creek here. I would guess this is, uh, I should probably Google map this, but I guess this might be the main creek here. I should probably have looked at a map before I decided this was the main way out. Yeah, I should have probably looked at a map before making that decision. Hopefully this is the way out though. Now there might be fish moving a little bit forward since we're starting to approach the salt water again. There might be salt water fish. Dude, these trails go everywhere. We're going to really have to pull my phone out and figure out where we're going here. Now this is a dead end. I think this is a dead end. Okay, I'm going to have to pull the map out now. Okay, it's wide. We're good. I don't think I'm going to come back through here though, I think I'm going to go come back through Wayne's Pass. Which is a long haul, I don't know if my boat motor is going to give out on me or not, but we're doing it. There's a building there so we can't be too far. Ah, we're getting close. I mean, I can paddle, but I'm fat. So physical activity really isn't my thing. Here, the water looks like it's starting to turn a little bit more brackish, so there could be fish in here. It certainly looks deeper. And we should be approaching, uh, approaching the, the canal at any moment now. Unless we took a dead end. We might have took a dead end. Hopefully not. Spider! Yeah, there's a lot of spiders in the mangroves. Clusterphobia and spiders, those are my two things. A man can have fears, I think. Clusterphobia and... Wow, this water's shallow here. Clusterphobia and spiders are my two fears. And we just, uh, we've encountered both today. Nice and wide now. Wide open. Really appreciate you guys on YouTube. If you're watching this adventure, just uh, subscribe. 
thank you so much for watching my adventures if you're this far into the video you must like it if you're planning a trip to Naples or Florida to get out of the cold weather or if you're local and you're just looking for fishing spots pretty much that's what we do I'm not the best person at fishing but I do know the spots because I've grown up around here so Okay, we're starting to approach some salt water now. I think we're almost there. We made it, guys. I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's the back bay there. Fish right there, big fish going that way. Yeah. Hooray! We made it. All right. We did it. <laughs> that is one long ride I don't know if my boat motor is going to a little tiny battery is going to make it or not but I got to buy a bigger battery alright now we're going to fish this we're out here awesome we made it that's my first time going all the way around that trail I mean I've known about it but I've never really gone through it like that awesome and now we're uh, we're in the backwaters now and there's definitely going to be fish out here palm tree awesome this is salt water here so we'll definitely uh, be able to fish out here <sighs> didn't seem to be much going on back in there and we're here ta-da we're here no idea how my boat motor is going to handle the ride back because we're far now not a worry in the world Oh, what the hell is that dude wearing? Guys should not wear that. Low tide. We're here. These people from other countries. What the hell is he wearing, dog? What this fool wearing, dog? What's this fool wearing, dog? What is that fool wearing, dog? Well, they're jumping right there. Right, jumper. Oh, look at the waves, man.
No, oh, fishing's been crappy lately. I'll wait for the tide to slow down a little bit. <clears throat> you get you do anything today? Oh, you got a catfish. Man. And this ain't what it used to be. I've been fishing here since I was a little kid. Yeah. People come out here, it's nothing but permit. You see people catching permit one after the other. Really? You know, many years ago. God, I those yeah. But we kind of outfished them. There's too many of us. Yeah. Just too many people, man. That's a nice, tasty fish. <clears throat> yeah, this spot used to be known for permit. I don't know how long you've been fishing this spot here. Uh, you know, I've been here for six years. I've only come down here ten times, maybe. Yeah. 